Hot sheets show us changes that have taken place in the MLS. Well, we have hot sheets in Tempo and Fusion. You also have them here in Matrix. Um, on page five of that manual I showed you all, it talks about customizing these hot sheets. Um, so for example, if you see where it says single family right now in this hot sheet, and then down here it says today, what that's indicating to me is if I were to click on single family, it's gonna show me all of the changes that have taken place in the single family property type today. So if I click on that, there's going to be hundreds, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, 451 changes today in single family. Now, the reason there's so many is because the system is defaulted to show you all of the changes in the entire MLS. Well, maybe I don't need to see all of the changes. Maybe I just need to see new listings and back on market, or maybe I just want expired terminated and I only want them in this particular zip code or whatever the case is. So you can um, get in here and you can actually customize these hot sheets. If you see in that widget, it does say customize. I can go and I can update the search criteria on one of the defa defaulted hot sheets you have here. So if you see, I could select one and hit edit criteria, or I could click add and create an entirely new hot sheet and name it whatever I'd like, right? So again, this is on page five in the manual. I would encourage you all to take some time to set these up if you think these are gonna be a beneficial tool to you. Just go through and either edit what you have here or create some new hot sheets and, and uh, set this up to work for you. I've had some members uh, say things to me like, you know, I'm just afraid to customize too much because I don't want to mess anything up. Okay? I promise you all, you cannot break matrix. Okay? You can't break it. Uh, they make it very easy to customize. As you can see, I just click these buttons here, but also they make it very easy to undo whatever customization I did. So I could select one and hit reset criteria, or I could hit restore system defaults and restore all those hot sheets back to the system defaults if I decided I wanted to go back to them. Yes, sir, do you have a question? When you add one, does it just go alphabetically or does it set a subfolder? It, it will have, so if I were to create another one like single family test, it actually just puts them there, yeah. But you can reorganize them if you see, move up, move down. And then if, again, if I want to delete that one, very easy to just simply delete it. 